next match on courts. Another men's singles quarterfinal. Sun Jun of China up against Peter Gader Christensen of Denmark. Both these players having held world junior titles before. But here in Glasgow, in the men's singles quarterfinal stage, of course, initially four Danes, of course, we've already seen Thomas Thor Lauritsen being beaten in the quarterfinal. So but now Peter Gader against Sun Jun. Peter Gader, of course, a tremendous win over Fung Pomadi in the previous round. Fung Pomadi, winner of the World Grand Prix Finals last December. So that's a terrific win in three close games. Sun Jun, of course, World Junior Champion back in 1992. And Peter Gator Christensen, interestingly, World Junior Men's Doubles Champion. Just three years ago, that was with Peter Nissen. And that really quite extraordinary because he was considered favourite for that singles crown in the World Junior Championships. But this very different story now, the senior. World Championships, quarter final stages. And this is all about the pressure game. Sun Jun, 22 year old from Jiangsu, the number three seed here on the left. And Peter Gator Christensen, who's 20 years of age from Allborg, seeded 11. So that really was a terrific win in the last round over number seven seed from Pomadi by Peter Gader Christensen. And really, I suppose the first time that the world took notice of the young Dane was the first Grand Prix tournament of the year when he won the Chinese Taipei Open. And in the final there, he beat his teammate and reigning Olympic champion, Paul Eric Hoyer Larson, in two straight games. And that really served notice to the rest of the world that Denmark were a force to be reckoned with. And that's been all too obvious here in Glasgow. Four out of the eight semi-finalists were Danes. There he is. Last year, twice semi-finalist in Grand Prix tournaments out in Indonesia, which was a marvellous performance because the conditions were very hot and very humid. And semi-finalist also last year in the Danish Open. Sun Jun, of course, we know as one of the top players in the world. Runner-up earlier this year in the All England Championships in Birmingham when he lost to teammate Dong Jiong, who, of course, had to withdraw from this tournament yesterday due to illness. In fact, Dong Jiong having to go to hospital. He was so ill and poorly. So, of course, it was Sun Jun two years ago in the Sudaman Cup final, the World Team Championships, when he had the marvellous win over Harianto Abe, which really set up China's victory in the Sudaman Cup. And, of course, last week, China retained the cup with an overall team performance that was just awesome. So, these two players, Anthony, perhaps very different players Peter Gader Christensen always seems to have such time when he's playing his shots whereas Dong Jiong he's a busy little player isn't he Sun Jim really does cover the court very swiftly indeed and really gets to the net loves to play tumble net shots but Peter Gader very very tall rangy player very similar to the other Danes Paul Eric Peter Rasmussen, Thomas Stewart, they're all tall, they love to create their angles. He makes time for himself, gets himself into a beautiful position prior to his shots, very controlled around the net. And I think the net could well be a key for this game. Gator's going to have to use his height from the rear of the court, in which case he's going to have to get Sun Jun to lift away from that net area. But he really mustn't give up on any shuttle, Peter Gator, because Sun Jun is so tenacious, scrambles every shuttle back, and he's a very aggressive player when he wants to be as well. So the umpire for this match, Natha Thai Son Prachum of Thailand. The players 
just making their final preparations for this quarter final match. And this really will be a nerve wracking time for Peter Gader Christensen. As I mentioned, he was favourite, or one of the favourites, certainly at the World Junior Championships. And he really got crippled by nerves in the quarter final stage, but went on to take the men's doubles title. That was three years ago, of course, and he's matured considerably since then. Sun <laughs> Jun looks very cool and collected. Of course, he will be the favourite for this encounter, being seeded number three here at the World Championships. Really taking his time. The man from Jiangsu. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Sun Jun China. On my left, Peter Gader Christensen, Denmark. Peter Gader Christensen to serve, love all, play. So, Peter Gader Christensen gets this quarterfinal match underway. uses his height, as you suggested he would, to bring down that shuttle so steeply. Lovely reverse slice from Peter Gader. We saw it executed in the ladies' singles from Gong Zixiao, just showing how the men's and ladies' games are really narrowing the skills displayed by both the sexes nowadays. Just pushed that so little bit on. Desperation. It's not often you're going to see Sunjun play an overhead backhand. Peter Gader just trying to force that one a little bit far, just an inch long. Lovely. Two, one. Just calmly lifted the accurate shot, pushed it down Peter Gader's backhand side, just inside the line. It really has almost been a tale of two paths for these players to reach this stage of the tournament. Sunjun reaching it pretty comfortably indeed, never being stretched to go the full distance of three games. And only indeed being pushed to setting in one of the six games he's played so far. On the other hand, Peter Gader, as we see the shuttlecock drop perfectly on the line. Pinpoint accuracy from Sunju, and that shows the confidence with which he's playing. But Peter Gader really has almost battled his way to this quarterfinal position. Two long three setters, losing the first game against both Yong Hot King of Malaysia and Fung Pamadi in that last 16 match but then came back very strongly he's a very economical player doesn't use a lot of energy and Sunjun really must be on the ball to take two games to win this match so it's over one four
maturity. I thought he had an opportunity one, to go for the four. winner prior to this one, but elected to play the probing attacking style. Got the perfect net shot back from Sunjun with a perfect response himself. He just strode across, nonchalantly knocked it off for the winning point. So typical of the Danish side, using their height superbly well. Two, four. Peter Gader never really shows much emotion, four, does he? A uh, very confident young man, Peter Gader. Keeps his frustration in check. Perhaps a different player between him and Thomas Stewart. We were so aware of the emotional turmoil he was going through during his first game. And that was a tremendously deceptive shot. Said Five, completely two. the wrong direction. A wry smile on the face of Peter Gader. You see the shuttlecock just go a couple of inches long. But Sun Jim was on his way to the net. Done it. Lovely angle so there. Forward. Peter Gader sliced across the shuttle. The steepness and the slice Four, taking five. the shuttlecock away from the outstretched arm of Sunjun. The perfect balance jumps upwards and into the shuttle, and Sunjun a little bit stuck to the floor on that occasion. So it's over. Five, two. Cross-court driven drop shot from Sunjun. Completely sent Peter Gator the wrong way, but it just caught the top of the tape. point in Peter Gader just trying to prolong the rallies because Sunjun's just so good at soaking up pressure and has that element of explosiveness to really get in and take command of any weak shots. It really is Peter Gader. You mentioned that he was the world junior champion at doubles and he's very, very good and sharp around the midcourt region, very good at pulling the weak replies at the net and has a very handy cool. smash as well from the rear court. So he does have the ability to inject pace and play a very aggressive style as well. So it's over. Two, five. Um, so John, the that uh, pressure he's under knows that his opponent can come to talk so well. Indeed, also, we've got to remember now that Sun Jun's carrying a lot of the pressure of China on his shoulders after the exit of the number one seed, world number one, Dong Zhong. He really has been left carrying the Chinese mantle through this championship, so he's got that pressure on his shoulders as well. that Sun Jun immediately stepped forward looking for the reply towards the net. Five, three. Oh. First round, 
assist. Notice whenever Wait. Peter Gaeta plays that shot around the head, he really does stand very square to the net, doesn't he? Doesn't turn his shoulders so much. Indeed, that almost restricts him, as we can see there, to pushing it with any pace straight up the court and to create the angle for the cross court he must do a lot of work with the racket face which is going to slice across the shuttle and take a lot of speed out of those shots well my work Song Jun did well Seven. in that Three. rally he slips recovered brilliantly well before leaping to play his final smash but that deep lunge from Sun Jun down to that forehand corner really highlights the tremendous athletes that these badminton players are. Fully in the lunge position, the right leg outstretched, but still with the power not to bring the left leg through for an extra stretch, but just to push off using the quadriceps and calf muscles to get back to the base and back into the rally. Seven, of three. Of course, Sun Jun was unlucky in the World Grand Prix finals and in the final match against Fung Kamadi. He did slip and he did hurt himself. So the tiny Chinese coaches, I'm sure, will have been Seven relieved to see that no three, damage was done Seven. after that little slip. So fast onto the net. Indeed, very light on his feet Seven. there, Peter Gader. Racket held high, poised for the shot, never went below the level of the knee. Up it goes, brushes it off. Oh, the forced error. Five, from seven. Sun Late onto the backhand. Under such severe pressure. Indeed, we saw Peter Gader at the initial stage of this match try and get it deep onto Sun Jun's backhand. He managed it that time forced the error and there we saw the injection of pace Six, on the base seven. got in that was the injection to speed recovers rack it up and just clips it down Quite a frustrating error from Peter Gaylor. He pulled the game back from 3 7 deficit to get to within one point of Sun Jun to then almost hand the chance of Sun Jun the shuttle back to extending the lead. I think that would have frustrated Peter Gaylor. Oh, fantastic! Well, six. You very rarely see in men's singles a player totally deceived at the net like that. But after that net shot, Peter Gaylor was moving back body weight going in the wrong direction Nine, there six. From Peter Gaida. brilliant tactical play again from him the drive stepped in took the easy kill at the net drove it at Sunjun's body but pushed it longer the baseline that his shoulders were very, very square on. This time, again, not a great amount of shoulder rotation. Tries to create the angle by opening the face. That takes a lot of pace off it and dragged it down into the net. Was he perhaps going for the winner too soon in the rally? He hadn't really outmaneuvered Sun Jun, had he? I think that really was the key there. Sun Jun was in perfect balance position to cope with that cross-court smash, and that really would have put Peter Gader under a lot of pressure, even if it had gone over. Service over, six, ten. Six, ten. Peter Gader flicks it cross court, 
And he's there, dominating the net area, foot on the front service line, watching that drop shot go wide. Sunjun had set off, he could only just get his racket on it. So it's slicing across the shuttle. Head. Creates not only the deception because the racket head must come through very quickly, and of course your opponent thinks that it's going to be a full blooded smash, but also the spinning of the shuttle makes it come down very steeply indeed. A little bit complacent on the player from Peter Gaynor. Just played a loopy, high clear. Sunjun, tremendous athleticism. And he's already on the base there before Peter Gaynor gets the racket. On to the smash. Excellent play. Well, the moment we thought that perhaps Sun Jun was under pressure, he's injected extra pace. Made the difference the last few rallies. Indeed, a clenched fist and a look over to Lee Yongbo at the end of that rally. And Lee Yongbo nodding his head, looking very pleased with his player's performance at the moment. But Peter Gaynor there, it regaining his composure, in. just stepping in and making no mistake with the lift that clipped the net tape. Racket. I think uh, yes, he needs to towel down the grip of his racket there. Probably getting very slippery. Yes, he's going to apply some grip powder. That makes the grip a little bit tacky so that he gets a better hold of that toweling grip. Both these players yeah. feeling the heat very hot yeah. in this arena here in Glasgow. Change of strokes, got the weak lift, and I think just try to power the shuttlecock down. I think if he steered it into the space, that might have been a better move. Very fast play from Sun Jun. But perhaps. 
perhaps that initial drive from Peter Gaida was the one that got him into trouble. It wasn't deep enough, and it certainly wasn't high enough. Now, Sun Jun just coming a word of the umpire there. I think perhaps a little bit upset 13, that Peter Gaida seems nine. to be trying to make the shuttle a little quicker. I think perhaps the umpire was inferring towards Sun Jun that she was getting a bit annoyed with him clenching his fist and screaming at the end of each round, and I think she was asking him just to calm down a bit, which seems a shame, because it's great to see the Chinese player showing tremendous enthusiasm for this quarterfinal match. opening game. Singles quarter final going to Sun Jun of China, 15 9. And really great maturity shown by the 22 year old from Jiangsu. When the pressure was on, as soon as he sensed a little bit of pressure from Peter Gaida, he upped the pace of the rally, certainly cut out any unforced errors. Second game. Really played quite superbly well. Love all play. Second game. So. Oh. One. And from the Love. start of this, Peter Gator is really going to be aware that he has to make his shots absolutely accurate, otherwise Sun Jun will get him back. Indeed, that really is the dilemma facing Peter Gaida. Sun Jun's court coverage is quite magnificent, however, the margin for error isn't so that great. Over. If it's out of Sun Jun's reach, Love. the chances are that it might One. well be out of the court. As you see here, Peter Gaida allowing Sun Jun's lift to just go long at the baseline. But I thought really that the key difference in that first game was the big points, the important so points, over. which you could really sense one about to take love. place, Sun Jun took them, and I think that really was the key decisive factor between the two players in the first game. He's missed it. Two. And that, of love. course, Anthony, is the sign of a great player to be able to sense the important points. Peter Gaida just asking that Sun Jun doesn't call the lines himself. I think it was a fair call. Tremendous injection of pace there and the movement initially and then secondly with the stroke down the line set himself up perfectly and then immediately accelerates towards the net. If that one was in would have been on top of it to kill it. So it's over. Well, 
love three. Nadeen is determined to try and attack more. Is, is that the right answer? I really think that if you get the opportunity to attack, then you'd be a fool not to take the opportunity. However, I think Peter Gaida, his style, his energy, free movement almost, enables him to play rallies at a high pace without the risk of really going for attacking shots and try and force the error out of your opponent. There was no need so really for him in that situation to try and deceive Sun Jim for the outright winner at the net. He could have easily played a, a tight tumble net shot to get the lift and then attack that or even flick Sun Jun to the rear of the court and get the clear from that opportunity. Oh, that was lovely. The so hold and over. flick from the net Love. by Peter Gaida. This is the one. He took it so early. Sun Jun had to go forward and cover the net shot and that's why he was so late onto the flick. Block there from Sun Jun took the pace off by slicing across the shuttlecock. You see Gaida the drop far too deep into court, and then watching it, I think wanting that shuttlecock to go out just on the line. earlier on in that rally to finish it off but the final drop shot has taken too late far too loose that net shot from Sunjun Gaida just stepped in four. brushed it off very warm conditions look at that 29.7 degrees 37 percent humidity my goodness no one of these players are really inspiring so much very lucky for the players though the humidity not as high or as excessive as you see in the far east so a lot of the sweat they're producing is being evaporated taking a lot of heat out of their body no wonder with the kind of athletic nature of this game of badminton. Uh, I mean, 29.7 degrees, that really is very warm indeed. And I think perhaps going for the wrong option. Very, very difficult to nail this smash straight down the line, especially without that margin of error. And also because he doesn't turn his shoulders so much with being square onto the net, it's terribly easy just to draw the shuttle wide of that sideline. Indeed, you really are almost relying on your arm movement to steer the shuttle for you, as opposed to your whole body movement and momentum going through the line of the shuttle. Five, five. delighted with his players of course China retaining the Sudaman Cup the world team competition last week he knows that all the remaining places in the ladies singles are China's and here in the men's singles Sun Jun playing just as well Seven, men's doubles champion of course Lee Long Yongbo he really has developed a squad of singles players that is awesome. Out. Play 
Tyson error there from Sun Jun. Worked himself into a commanding Love position seven. in this second game. And it's essential for his prospects that he keeps Peter Gader down. Seven. Given by the weak cross court clear, a look up from Peter Gator towards the lighting at the side of the court. There we see again no shoulder rotation, no movement of that body through in the line of the shuttle, just lost a bit of pace there on the stroke. Good judgment. Four, seven. And of course, there is always a risk for a player becoming complacent when they've won the opening game, spinning like that he was. But I think, to be honest, Sun Jun is probably too experienced to really let this game Seven. Sit. Four, row. Seven. I already think cool. the odds are stacked against Peter Gader. But you mentioned the World Junior Championships where he disappointingly went out of the quarterfinal stages of the singles, but showed tremendous composure and will of mind to come back and win the doubles. He was bitterly forward. disappointed. So he really Four, has got a strong seven. mind and he must work himself back into this second game. But play probing the attack one way and then steering it across court for the winner. Uh, absolutely nothing for the Dane seven. Can do to retrieve that. The smash from Sun Jun hitting the top of the tape just bouncing over to the Danish side of the court. Backhand serve, I think, coming up. That time, it was the tactical maneuvers of Sun Jun through Peter Gaylor deep into the forehand corner. And he caresses it cross court, and that leaves the gap there. Up the line for the winning smash. Oh, that is fantastic. The control on the net. So, it. The forehand cross court, then the backhand cross court. That is magic. What really was good about that net shot was the way he played it cross court with a lot of pace, skimming the top of the tape. It would have been easy for him to play one, giving it a bit of height to get it to fall close to the net. But it really was incredible to play it at that speed. Missed by the Dane, but his body language was suggesting that he's beginning to feel the pace. Not the usual spring in the step, oh. and that was a definite Nine. sign of fatigue. Taking the defensive oh. shot very late indeed. Indeed, he has had those two very, very close, hard matches over the previous days, and I'm sure. As you mentioned, Jill, the first signs of tiredness are there. But he really must battle on. This is the quarterfinal of a World Championships. He can't just let it slip. Ten. Oh. Well, it was the fact that he was made to stretch down low for the second time in the same place, Peter Gader. No control on that net shot. Easy put away for the Chinese number two player. Ten two. Short and buried there. So it's Wonderful right. play again from Peter Gader. Four, ten. It's that push deep into Sunjun's four, forehand corner, then the one on the body. Sunjun guessed the wrong direction in which to move. The reverse angle. Three, that's ten. An incredibly difficult shot to play, especially with the square shoulders. But turning onto the shuttle, that really was all arm movement that placed that shuttle across court. Four, that shot 
again down to the technique of Peter Gader, but it was the way he worked the open there. Push Sundrum deep into a lunge position at the front of the court and then dispatch the smash down the line for the winning stroke. shown by Peter Gader kept his balance made sure drew that one down three foot inside the sideline made sure he wasn't going to put that one wide oh. tremendous angle there from the shorter man 11 4 created the angle by brushing across the base of the shuttle reverse slicing it always going away from Peter Gader couldn't quite reach it with his outstretched arm That's why, but it's interesting so it's that Sun Jun is four, employing 11. the backhand serve and really inviting the push from Peter Gader. He's crouching down his defence and then driving it back. The tactical move there from Sun Jun, and he knows that in that crouch position, if Peter Gader was to try and push that one deep into the corners, he could spring out, using the muscles that he'd already loaded by getting into the crouch defence position to try and intercept them at the rear of the court. Net shot. I think he actually uses a backhand style there. Yes, and then plays it cross court. That's incredible. Of course, it would be totally natural to have played that with the forehand action. I think by going in there and playing it with the backhand grip, he was almost saying to Sun Jun that he was going to flick it to the rear of the court using the thumb behind the shuttle. I think there he was giving Sun Jun the wrong Thank information you. and just came in and just caressed it cross court, just steered it. Opportunity to tell down these warm conditions. 
Yes, over. Error there from Sajun. Just demonstrating the stroke. They should have produced perhaps a push a little bit deeper into the court, but went for the good angle. Who can blame him? Leading 12 5, just went for the winner. Just waiting for the applause in the background to die down. Another many singles happening on the adjacent court. Invited the cross court lift here from Sunjun that enabled him then to create the angle to steer it down the line. Sunjun lunges across but can't intercept it. from Sunjun. No laps in concentration from Peter Gaida. The cross court reverse slice smash was played with such accuracy it clips the top of the tape, falls onto the Chinese side of the court. Super. The injection of speed and the transition so stage at the base. It's really got into well. the net very quickly indeed. Took it early on the backhand. Just played it down with pace for the winning shot. goes back to base to defend that one by taking it so early left Sunjun stranded so again the attempted deceptive backhand cross court there for Pingeda nine just choosing the wrong stroke move there worked his way back into this game only three points of deficit Changing his mind going for the backhand serve. No! Brilliant play by Sunjun. Anticipated the cross court smash on the previous rally. That time for the winning stroke move. Draws him wide with that one. Anticipate the lift. Smash it straight. And he knows that was another one of those vital important points. Just two points in front of the place in the semi final. went for the smash he slipped yep but it was well wide both players taking an opportunity just to tie down Sundin going to make absolutely sure takes on board some more fluid one last wipe with the towel he picks up his racket and tries to focus for this big point.
supports. But it's crucial moments here for Peter Gator.